So guys, more content to come your way from Le Mans Ultimate. Guys, we are out in the LMP2 this time around Portimao, the second new track that uh, we have not had before in R Factor 2. And uh, well, also this LMP2 runner is completely reworked as um, compared to the LMP2 that we know from R Factor 2. This LMP2 runner is a lot less powerful and a lot slower. You see, we are struggling a little bit with cold tires right here. So that is very important to note. Tires are completely reworked in the way they work. Um, the same goes for the for the GTE runners. But there, the difference didn't seem to be as pronounced as here. Um, so you really need to work these tires to get temperature into these for them to work properly for your driving, for your laps. As we are coming for two hot laps with the LMP2 runner before we once again get into a 16 minute race. Tires currently medium available only for LMP2 cars and as you can see, we got only 45 degrees core temperature in these tires, so I predict the second lap to be a lot quicker, unless I do huge mistakes anyway. Here we go for the lap then. First of two. track yeah you'll see on the second lap delta then how much better this will be and the mr. apex Once again, as I mentioned, fixed setup. Oh, there, there would be a lot of things I would love to change on the car in order to get better performances, but it is what it is. And of course, the infamous sentence, it's same for everyone, absolutely applies here. So meanwhile, let's have a look onto our tires once, as we go for the second lap. Tire temperature now at... Well, at least the front is on 70, we're at 60. Let's see. Lap is good enough, 36-0. Break a bit earlier, but we already find much more grip. Should still be fine, yeah. Into turn one. Six tenths ahead. We are on ourselves. Uh, lost a little bit of momentum there. Let's see how the rest of the lap goes. Not missing the apex is a, is a good start, I guess. Still half a second up. I think it's about here now where we really see the difference of the tire temperature being ready. Look at the exit much quicker. Another 210 found here. Mistake. Still, at least identical performance. So we're coming around final turn. 
to go for an improvement that is not good enough for a pole position. As we're lacking three and a half tenths to miss the bray. So we got some good competition running. Uh, we used... 2.4 liters. So... Then we go, 60 minutes times 60, divided this by, uh, what are we doing then, the 35s, 95, that's most likely going to be an 11 lap race, times 2.45, just to make sure, 27 liters for the race then, make it 28, you never know. There we go. So guys, once again here on the grid for the race, uh, we are getting ready for a fast rolling start. 30 seconds till green flag waves. We have qualified in second place. Sadly, we took, uh, we, we've taken the full fuel package. So we just made ourselves that race just a little bit harder. But uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see how we can proceed and how we perform in the race then. Guys, 16 minutes in the LMP2 on Portimao. Let's go. I would consider this a nice jump stop, but whatever. This is going to be a hell of a race. We did it straight send down then for turn two. And we're leaving the space since he's still aside. And now we need to start running. Locking the front. So Danny Bray in turn one, uh, in P1, starting from the pole. Uh, and I copy his mistake. But that's uh, good for the tire temperatures anyway. So we just need to keep that up. Let's see how much our heavy fuel tank will compromise us in that race. Seemingly I can't take the final turn as tight. get penalties here of course the lip angle is not adjustable of course
a bit too open. Traction control things. So I need a really stretch your legs with this one. But we're trying. Just on the steering off the track here. Yeah, the car's too heavy. With the big fuel inside. Finally, we get a stroke here on the points. I think it's uh, still set to relax, so nothing that would be ready for esports at this at this minute. What you can clearly see in this uh, LMP2 compared to what we know from R Factor 2, though, is that the front is actually doing something. Certainly you need to be way more on top of everything now. Rear end is a lot more loose. But again at the same time, um, the front tires are finally coming up to work, doing their job. So sadly it's an invalid lap, but finally I got the final sector right. Yes, come on, Michi, and bite in. Just eight and a half more minutes to go, and I need to get closer finally. Yep, finally, my car is coming alive. 
What is he doing? I hope he's not giving up the time. Ah, that is being considered a cut as well. It's interesting, have I done such a wide way to turn one at times that this was less optimal? So into the slipstream and draft we go. Now this is where it counts to come closer even. Intense racing you see here in the first couple of uh, media shots. There is a mistake right there. Get in there, Michi. Get closer. Uh, not do mistakes yourself, of course. So, yeah, safe to say we're fighting a little bit of dirty air here. Well, a little bit, that is a huge amount. We get our chance. Oh, he lets us go. Nah, come on, mate. You've been cranking up so many impressive lap times. I would like, <laughs> unless he wants to go hunting for us, uh, then we might be quickly doomed. But it took me quite some while to to correct from that uh, qualifying lap that I did. I mean, remember, this is just jumping in, getting in for a fixed race. Um, hence, I effed it up with the with the fuel again. Me just not being hundred percent on top of my head. And now we'll see what happens. Yeah, but he struggles to keep the car going fight through that apex. I'm just waiting for his send. Seems like I finally get a little bit of edge performance over him. But yeah, again, um, this LMP2 feels different from what we know from R Factor 2. And you've seen me struggle with it quite a bit in the opening stages of that race. Um, and again, it is, it is a new feeling that the front tires are actually doing the job. Uh, you clearly feel that. The diffuser on the rear end is not as strong and as pronounced as it is on the R Factor 2 Orica. I think that is for sure. At the same time, you feel like you don't want to slip and slide the rear at all. Um, remember, we used to have these eSport slides or whatever you want to call them. They seem being hurting a bit here in this in this car or not only even hurting I think they are also some kind of unavailable uh, like if 
seen us locking the fronts and getting the rear sliding a little bit into this hairpin, but instead of keeping the rear slide going, the, the slide kind of stalls. Um, bringing back the car to make use of the front wheels to rotate around the turn. Something that's also new, of course, is the reduced power that the cars have. Uh, you clearly feel like if I take this one in second, let's say. Ah, the car feels lazy getting out of the turn. Which is, you know, fine in a way, but... It is just something that uh, needs to be understood. Also, like, out of this turn. My former teammate Yanni Simicic would say second gear is perfectly fine for this hairpin. Where do you want... ...to go? Or second is perfectly fine for this here, but... Uh, for this downhill, because we're going downhill, this might actually be true. For the hairpin before, I think it's a clear first gear corner uh, for this car. So, Danny Bray, the 14th back. I think we're going into the final lap here. Let's see what these tires are still able to produce. You guys remember we've seen in the GTE that they have been pretty good for pretty long. And uh, it was clear and evident that in the opening laps of this race, I have pushed a lot. Well, let's see how they have hold up. Or how they are holding up. Because we're still pushing. And we're kind of identical. So this is, to my understanding, just the fuel effect that is now kicking in. Improving the lap time compared to before. I think we won't improve the lap time the fastest that we did. I think we're taking a checkered flag in first. Kudos go to Danny. I was really, really good. Not sure why he let me go there. That would have been awesome battling right there for us. <laughs> Ooh, so we actually had to work big time for it. Not getting pole position because of not getting the race in too good. Well, like not getting um, comfortable enough with the car in the short period, but that's fine. Really made us uh, given a good race for the 60 minute showcase run. And uh, that's the second race in. So, um, well, expectively, I think I'm going to, to drop more driver rank uh, because I haven't been in pole position, just got second. That's why I should have been in pole according to the system. But uh, yeah, we just wait till all the cars that are about to finish um, are finishing the race. Wojtek should also have gone over the line as every one of us have done 10 laps. So that should be fine. It should be good. Yes, perfect. So let's see what the result file says. <laughs> We made it to bronze one at least. Uh, we see some positions gained, some positions lost. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah. 
Mine is so one percent. Like, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, uh, we had two invalid race laps, which is correct. Uh, we stressed the tra track limits here a little bit. Uh, yeah, guys, awesome race, awesome fun, uh, really good results. So we're climbing up that safety rank that is required in order to make it to um, future races. So um, if you're looking into, uh, where is it, I need to get to the racing part. So yeah, we would now be able to go into the uh, beginners fixed uh, series again at Fuji. I'm gonna skip that though. But yeah, in order to get into intermediates, you need to be safety rank silver hypercars um, in the intermediate. Most likely, are they going to be fixed? Not sure, but I need to crank up that safety rank. So we'll see how that goes, guys. Looking forward to see you on future streams regarding Lamar Ultimate. What do you think of the game? What do you think of the new LMP2? Let me down in the comments area below. Give the video a like, subscribe us on the YouTube channel, and ring the bell. Guys, thank you for watching.